now that we are getting a little bit closer to Thanksgiving time, Janet mm -hmm. McCormick is here to give you an idea on something that you may want to add to the, the family dinner this year. Yeah, maybe a new side that you can take. So what are we making here? And obviously it's something to do with potatoes. Well, I don't know if you're like enamored with the, the, the heavy job of peeling potatoes and making mashed potatoes. Yes. Well, mm -hmm. I've got something to help you out here. Oh, good. And if you're all not Take away planning, some of the stress. Okay. okay. If you're not planning your Thanksgiving meal, do I even know y'all? <laughs> this is like a family event. My son actually texted me last week and then uh -huh. he called me and says, Mom, I got a great idea for Thanksgiving meal. So <laughs> then it got thinking me thinking. Mm -hmm. I was like, you know, I need to do my my three cheese smashed potatoes and, mm -hmm. and share that with everyone because this is the potatoes. easiest way to like really knock mashed potatoes out of the uh, out of the ballpark because Wonderful. this is so delicious. Well, this is what we need. So, so where do we start? Yeah. So we start with the boiled potatoes, and if you'll notice, look how I did this. This mm -hmm. is the most easy, lazy. I <laughs> like it. I literally just quickly went through yep. and just cut them. But left they are the red on. potatoes. I left okay. the skins on, and you can find potatoes, red potatoes, all year round. Mm -hmm. and the skins are delicate, and I swear you won't even really notice the, okay. the skins. The and skins. mash those up. These are fork tender, which doesn't even take that long mm -hmm. to boil. You put them in a pan of water, you boil it, fork mm -hmm. tender, drain it, and normally they're really hot, but of course right. this they is cool not down hot. But studio. I will say, even though this is not hot, you could actually make this a potato salad for an outdoor event. Oh, so you can do it. Even okay. if it's cold, okay. it's okay. still yeah, going to be delicious. Either way. Okay. Right, so I'm just going to smash mm -hmm. them. <laughs> arm That's workout. It. Another good arm? Yeah. yeah. Good, good and exercise. Also know that I just went ahead and seasoned these a little bit when mm -hmm. I was boiling them with a little bit of garlic powder, okay. a little bit of onion powder, just mm -hmm. kind of to um, infiltrate some of that um, that flavor into the, the potatoes. Flavor. Yes. Right. And it's just kind of delicate. You're not going to taste them like overpowering in the potatoes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you see how I'm doing? It's okay that it's not completely smashed like, you know, right. like mashed potatoes would be. This is my rustic potatoes. Okay. So now I'm going to put cream. About mm -hmm. how much? So this is about, uh, so you want to start, I think the recipe is, this is about two pounds. Okay. And I would put, I would start with a half a cup of cream. You can use, um, this is heavy whipping cream. You can actually use half and half. You can okay. use milk as well because I'm going to throw a lot of cheese in this. Right. So ever how you want to do that. Use whatever fine. you have. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So it's just enough to wet them. You're not trying to make a mashed potato. You're mm -hmm. just trying to not make it a dry potato. That's right. basically it. And so once you do that, so I think it's smashed completely enough. Okay. So if it's too thick for your comfort. Go ahead and add a little more cream. That's all you're doing. This is such a simple recipe. See, and I think now that I've mixed it, it's too, it's not wet enough. So okay. we're going to go ahead and put a little more cream in it. Mm -hmm. And then this is when you guys get to add my three cheeses. Ooh, so that's the best part. we of course have to do the grated Parmesan. Well, you can do grated. This is actually shaved. Okay. So start with the Parmesan. So start with that and put that in. I, I go ahead and use the whole thing on that. Okay. Unless you want to eat some yourself. Oh, no. What do well, you have here? Is this feta? Now. That is feta <gasps> cheese. Ooh. And we're going to throw okay. that too. Yeah. Now, the one thing that I noticed, even though we put all these cheeses in there, it definitely will need salt. Potatoes are one that really mm -hmm. just needs yeah. salt be a little in order bland. to taste good. And so, at this point, I would be salting. I think I had to salt mine when I did this the other day. I had to mm -hmm. keep salting, keep salting. But um, but if you're on maybe a low so, uh, sodium well, diet, just, don't either yeah, put it in off. or just very little bit right. maybe? Right, okay. just a little, just enough to where it, you know, it it's doesn't a taste bland. Yeah. And now I have again cheddar cheese with a mixture of jack cheese as well. Mm. Does and all you of can it just go in? All of this doesn't go in. Oh, okay. I was just in a hurry to get cheese <laughs> on the menu here. So you go. I'm just throwing it in. Grab it. Already? You know, eat it, grab it, whatever you want to do. Because you, all you all right. know that you do that at home. We all just, we just <laughs> we throw do. things. Do you want it all to do it? No, I think, you think that's, that's good enough. enough? Okay. It's got a lot of. So again, this is really not, um, you know, a, a very specific. Uh -huh. uh, have to stick to the ingredient list. You can just kind of do whatever you want. Now, chop. You need me to. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna chop a little bit of these scallions. You can even just like do the green parts of it and just throw it on top. Now, if I do this at home, because we are all bacon, bacon lovers, right? That's oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Bacon. Uh, I would be throwing bacon in this to give it mm -hmm. extra flavor. Red pepper flakes. You know, we like to make it a little hot. We just. Right. This is like your little design. 
Make it however how you want to. Whatever you're used to serving with your potatoes, Susan, you can throw this in there. And you if you don't like a lot of <laughs> you always leave the chopping up to me. <laughs> yes, I do. She's doing but a great I enjoy job. It. She's, She's doing all that. I enjoy I'm doing job. the sampling over here of the cheese. If you don't like a lot of onions, do you have to put that many in? You don't have to do anything. You can do whatever like you want. It's your painting. Paint it. Mm -hmm. Or I'm sorry, your canvas or your right. painting. You can paint any way you want. So if you're not big on the onions, yeah. Leave them out, or yeah. just put one or two in. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And so we're just gonna like throw it on here. Oops. Oh, I didn't get him cut up. <laughs> I'm not a good. I'm you, just not a you good. Are, you're excellent. I'm gonna get, get fired from cutting. Look at that. Mm -hmm. How did I do that? Uh, that thing was kind of. It moved a little bit. And All like right. you said, if you're really into bacon, throw that in as well. So, yes. So, and I'm just gonna toss in a little bit more. See, I still feel like it's a little thick. Mm -hmm. But you don't have to do that. Mm -hmm. But. Anyway, so now, you guys ready to taste this? Uh-huh. Of right. course. Taste so, test time. I also use cayenne pepper, and you can actually mix up hot oh, peppers in this, too. Pick it up a notch. And our Thanksgiving, when we do it, it's it's a hot little mess we little do. hot number. Yeah. So this served Thank hot you. would be a great side dish, right. or served cold, yeah, a potato salad. Yeah, you can serve this salad. either way, as a potato salad. Or, yeah, here you go, try this. One of Thank these. you, ma'am. <laughs> here you go. Oh, this looks right. great. And you call this smashed potatoes? Three cheese smashed potatoes. Three cheese. Smashed potatoes. And, and this probably needs a little more salt because mm -hmm. uh, my salt's over there. <laughs> I forgot <laughs> to bring it over. I was going to throw it in like this, but. Right. <laughs> That's okay. Ooh, this I like is that. delicious. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, as we wrap up here, remind us where we can find more good recipe ideas. Hold on. <laughs> She's like, give me one second. I'm trying right? your finished product. <laughs> okay. Janet McCormick, Facebook. I have all kinds of recipes in my feed. You can actually just like download it, whatever you want to do. Mm -hmm. Or 10 Minute Meals on Facebook or Instagram. I'm on those. I'm also on TikTok, but. Well, you are those everywhere. Are, those are visuals. <laughs> I actually do videos. <laughs> you are everywhere. Well, we're glad you're here giving us an idea for yes. Thanksgiving dinner. Super yummy. Yeah. Yes. And thank Janet, you. Janet, we're always so thankful for your delicious recipes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>